author profiling the process of distinguishing between classes of authors for purposes of marketing and forensics the classes can be age gender political ideologies and for this purpose fake news spreaders on twitter the task as at hand is about twitter feeds in both english and spanish language and there is need to determine whether the author is keen to be a spreader of fake news. First, we have to build a model for handling this task. And we start by obtaining distinguishing features from the two categories. The distinguishing features together with their classes will be used to learn a discriminating function. This function can then be applied on new data to determine the probable class that this data belongs to. To determine the distinguishing features from the two categories, we use the prop D formula, which is the difference between the probability of term I in category zero and the probability of term I in category one. Terms belonging to category zero will have a prop D which is positive and those belonging to category one will have a negative prop D. With this formula, we are able to create two categories of features belonging to each data. These categories of features can then be sorted according to their degree of importance and this is performed by calculating their chi-square values. The higher the chi-values, the higher the ranking on the scale. The documents belonging to these categories are then represented as vectors using only a reduced set of features. Considering the K selected features from prop D and chi square, the training set is transformed into a document vector and is used to learn a function, a discriminative function. This discriminative function is made up of three classifiers the random forest, the boosting, and the decision tree. Each classifier provides a prediction of a particular class, and these predictions are combined to arrive at a final decision. When the new data is applied, the discriminative classifier determines the class of the new data. This can be obtained through either soft voting or hard voting. Hard voting is where a prediction simply votes a class that the news data should belong to and the sum of the votes will determine the final prediction. For soft voting, each classifier 
provides a probability of the new data belonging to a class. And these probabilities are summed up. The class with the highest probability becomes the final prediction of the class of the new data. Soft voting and majority voting was applied on the valuation data set and it can clearly be seen that the majority voting outperforms the soft voting. With only 150 features, the majority voting provides the highest accuracy. In the test data set, the majority voting still outperforms the soft voting. With the majority voting providing equal performance in both the English and the Spanish language. In conclusion, therefore, our classifier is able to extract a reduced set of features up to 150 able to perform fairly well in the classification. With these 150 features, we are able to identify features that are closely associated with the different categories of data. Our attribution approach was based on a combination of three individual classifiers, the decision tree, random forest, and boosting. Thank you.